In another video, we looked at the four roles related to process in an organization, the execution and improvement of the process, scale up, process governance, and vision and culture for process excellence. In another video, we looked at the difference between leading process metrics, metrics uh, of root causes of drivers, if you will, and lagging process metrics, the outcome, the result, the scorecard, if you will. And in this video, I'd like to combine those two ideas and provide examples drawn from some work um, with a global food service organization, specifically their QSR group, a quick service restaurant format. Uh, this particular business had both uh, dining capability as well as drive-through. Um, an example of a leading process metric for the frontline staff here, number one, would be um, on each shift, they had key processes um, that they would measure and specific factors in each process. So, for example, the deep fryer was a particularly critical process step in the kitchen. And they had determined that, not surprisingly, one of the key process factors was the cooking oil temperature. It needed to be within a certain range consistently in order to have a consistent fry, say a french fry, so not too cold, not too hot. So that would be an example of a leading process metric for frontline staff would use. A lagging metric for frontline staff level would be the actual lead time of every order on each shift. So a customer comes in, places the order, how long does it take between placing that order and they fully and accurately receive their order, either drive-through or dine-in. Frontline leaders, the first level of management, an example of a metric that they used as a leading uh, indicator was a front of house and back of house cleanliness scorecard that they would go through and by observation use the standard scorecard to rate you know, the cleanliness of the dining area, the kitchen, the washrooms, etc. An example of a lagging metric, guest feedback. So both approaching customers, approaching guests, and, and asking for their opinion on uh, a number of areas that was structured, as well as um, using social media and random surveys, et cetera, from, from guests. For mid-level leaders, an example of a leading metric was the turnover rate of employees at one and two um, that were rated solid plus or above. So in, in their organization, good employees the turnover rate as a measure, a leading indicator of the health of the process. Obviously, if you have good performers leaving uh, far too frequently, that can be a sign of, of root problems in the organization and the process. And an example of a scale-up uh, lagging uh, metric would be the cleanliness scorecard trend. So whereas frontline leaders were looking, uh, not surprisingly, at very short-term data, looking at each shift at their location and how it's doing. Because of the larger scope of mid-level leaders, um, they would look at more aggregate data um, over time and across areas to see if there were any um, positive trends or negative trends as an indicator, a lagging indicator of how healthy the process was. Interesting, as you go from mid-level leaders to senior execs, corporate execs, um, these lagging indicators um, become much more about trend, uh, longer term trend. So whereas this is longer term trend in the cleanliness score, um, a senior executive lagging indicator was the mystery shopper trend. So mystery shoppers would be sent in um, to assess anonymously the cleanliness and service and friendliness of the staff. And again, looking at aggregate trends in that data, whether or not they're on the right track or whether there might be issues being revealed by that uh, lagging metric. And then corporate executives um, would look at the employee engagement trend. Again, longer term, aggregated data. Is the organization moving in the right direction from anonymous employee engagement survey results? In the next video, we'll take a look at some uh, leading metrics that cut across uh, all five of these organizational levels.